Juan Alderman. He was a Mexican and Irish painter, architect, and muralist. He was born on July 6th of 1905. His father was a painter as well. His father influenced him in one of the best ways possible, by inspiring him to learn how to draw and paint. He started painting during the Mexican Revolution. Through the Mexican Revolution came the Mexican Muralism Movement. The Mexican Muralism Movement was a promotion of mural painting starting in the 1920s with social and political messages. He graduated from the National University of Mexico School of Architecture. He made it a point to ridicule the ruling class, church, military, and foreign capitalists. During the time in which there was so much political turmoil, he expressed himself through his paintings and murals. He went on to design and build 26 elementary schools in Mexico City. He also made a few murals in the Central Library at Ciudad Universitaria. Some of his most famous paintings and murals are Paisaje Lunático Los Mitos An Autorretrato Juan Alderman went on to become a well-known architect. He worked on the new Bank of Mexico building, and he also introduced modern functionalist architecture to Mexico City. After introducing modern functionalist architecture, he went on to develop an organic architecture. He was very much influenced by the works of Frank Lloyd Wright, but he also added in traditional Mexican constructions into the organic architecture. And that's the thing with Juan Orgerman. He always made it a point to incorporate his Mexican culture into his work. Juan Orgerman played a major role in the rise of muralists in the 1920s to 1950s. The focus of many of his works were that of socialism. Socialism is a system of society or group living in which there is no private property. The majority of his works also focus on the political aspects of Mexico. He was very vocal in his beliefs and how he believed in the lower class people rather than of the intellectuals and aristocrats. Two famous painters that impacted Juan O'Orman was Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo. He has called Diego Rivera his gran maestro. In 1931, he was hired by both Frida and Diego to design separate but adjoining house studios. One of his main murals that stood out to me because of the importance it had on the Mexican Revolution was El Retablo de la Independencia. This mural symbolizes the importance of belonging to a society that fights for the cultural freedom of their people. In the center of the mural is Father Hidalgo, who played an important role in the Mexican War of Independence. This mural was created between 1960 and 1961. To fully understand the importance of this mural, we first have to learn about one of the important figures of the Mexican War of Independence, which is Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla. He was a Roman Catholic priest who was later known as a revolutionary leader who was at the forefront of the Mexican War of Independence. Hidalgo was part of a pro-independence group in San Miguel. During the time he was part of the group, Spaniards were finding ways to arrest those who opposed their new king. Hidalgo decided to make an announcement of revolution against the Spanish. He encouraged his people to revolt against the Spaniards. He was all for racial equality. A movement then began for the independence of Mexico. Juan Ogerman shared the same views as Father Hidalgo. He believed in the lower class people than the upper class. Although he was captured, expelled from the priesthood, and executed by the firing squad, he lived on to be the revolutionary of the independence movement for the Mexicans. The main focus of the mural was to identify what it is to be Mexican under certain cultural symbols related to the traditional aspects of Mexico and the modern ones. The mural has many characters that stand out, mainly men. Also in the mural are a set of letters that represent phrases that help us comprehend why the things are happening in the mural. There are also a list of names that were part of the Revolution of Mexico. On the bottom left part of the mural, we see a man kneeling, probably asking for mercy, because he has his hand extended out to a man in military clothes. There are also numerous flags. The one that stands out to me is the one with the Virgin Mary. 
or as we say, La Virgen de Guadalupe. There are also numerous men with rich clothing. This symbolizes the lower class people who were at the forefront of the war. Ultimately, the person who stands out the most is Father Hidalgo. Also on the mural are a group of men who are dressed in church clothing. These men were there to convert the mestizos into Christians. If they didn't convert the mestizos, then those mestizos would be killed. On the bottom of where the men with the church clothing are, you see the four men who are nude. The nudity represents their vulnerability and how they were being tortured and killed for not converting into Christians. Apart from Father Hidalgo, the other person who stands out is the man on the cross. The man on the cross symbolizes Jesus. The man on the cross is giving himself up for the people. He's fighting and he's sacrificing himself so that the people can be liberated from the Spaniards. Father Hidalgo is the focal point of this mural. Father Hidalgo is holding a torch. The torch symbolizes the rage and the anger that he has towards the Spaniards who are trying to rule over his country. In the mural, you also see the mestizos who are ready to fight against the Spaniards. Father Hidalgo adopted La Virgen de Guadalupe as a major symbol of the Mexican Revolution because he believed that she was a form of protection over him and the mestizos. The background of this image is that of Guanajuato. This is very important because Guanajuato was one of the first cities that was won over by the revolters. So it plays a huge role in the importance of this mural. Finally, the purpose of Juan Oregon's mural was so that we can get an idea of how a society back then could form an identity through the culture and strength of the people. For my artwork, I used my younger brother Gabriel and two of my older cousins, Oscar and Omar. The photograph shows my younger brother trying to fight off both my older cousins, but he can't because they have more power over him. Just like in El Retablo de la Independencia, we have multiple people fighting off the Spaniards for their rights. When I took this photograph, all I could see is my little brother glaring and trying to fight them off, but he couldn't because of how afraid he was of them. The photograph shows how one person can impact the other.